be honest, whose media pool usually looks something like this. <laughs> Just files and stuff everywhere and you never know what's what. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could get DaVinci Resolve to automatically sort it all out for you, every project, put stuff in some nice, neat little folders so you know exactly where everything is. Something like this. Grab all this, drop it in, and straight away, I've got my audio filtered. My A camera, B camera, any gameplay, 25, 50 frames per second, screenshots, and even my voiceover filtered out into folders like magic. <laughs> yeah, much better. Using a feature within DaVinci Resolve called Smart Bins. Super quick and easy to set up and will absolutely change the way you work. First thing you need to do is to enable them. Now, if you open up Resolve on the edit page in the media pool, you should see this little area down here called Smart Bins. If you don't, just click on View at the very top, come on down to here where you've got Show Smart Bins, give that a tick, and then you'll have the option within here. Now in this folder that I've got set up, I've tried to use a bit of everything. So I've got two cameras which I shoot with, an A cam and a B cam. I shoot at different frame rates, 25 and 50 frames per second. I've got images in the format of JPEGs. I've got voiceover, I record in WAV. I've got music, that's generally MP3. And then I've also got gameplay, that's in MKV, because that's recorded from OBS. And lastly, I've got screenshots in the format of PNG. So loads of different stuff that I want sorted out into folders so I know exactly where it all is. So let's crack open the smart bins and I'll show you how to do it. So if we just come on down to this empty space here, right click, and we've got an option to add a smart bin. And then this, window will appear. Now, at the top you've got name, so you want to give this a name. So I'm going to start off with something simple and I'm just going to go with images. I want all of my images into one simple folder. So I've gone with images. Over on the right we've got show in all projects. If you tick this box, this smart bin will appear in every single project, whether you create a new one in the future or whether you go back and open an old one, these smart bins will be here for you. So I generally just tick that all the time because if I don't want it, I can always get rid of it, but I'd rather tick it and have it there and not need it than need it and not have it. So we're gonna give it a tick. And then underneath here, we've got match all and any. I'm just gonna leave that as all for now. We'll come back to that a little bit later. And then we've got these options. Now, this first one, you're probably going to want to leave on media pool properties because you probably won't have metadata unless you're using a really high-end camera. So we'll leave that as media pool properties. And then this is where the fun stuff happens. We've got file name and we've got all of these options to pick from. So we've got file name, clip name, real name, time codes, subclips, resolutions, frame rates, all this sort of fun stuff. Now we're gonna dig into a few of these in a moment, but the first one, the easiest one to have a quick look at, come on down until you find clip type, then give that a click. And then you've got the option of is or is not, I'm gonna leave it as is, and then you've got this drop down. And we've got things like video, audio, video and audio, stills, multicams, timelines, compounds, all sorts of fun stuff in here. Now what you may have noticed is my media pool actually changes as I create this filter. So we can actually see exactly what this filter is doing. Now I've got it set to video, but nothing's appearing. Why is that? Well, my video has audio attached, so I'd need to change that to be audio and video. And then you can see all of my video with audio is now in here. We want images. So I'm just gonna change this drop down to stills. And you can see it's automatically filtered this out to show all of my images within there. So I can hit create. And now within my smart bin, I've got a user smart bins folder and I've got images. So if I go to my master bin, there's everything. And if I go to images, there's all my images. Done. So let's do another one. We're going to right click, add a smart bin. This one I'm just going to call audio. Showing all projects, file name, clip type, is, audio, create, done. Audio, images. So I mentioned that I shoot with two cameras. So if you have a look here, I've got one camera, which the file name is PAAA, and then I've got another camera, and the file name is PBBB. So I've got my A cam and my B cam, and I want that to be automatically filtered. So again, smart bin, right click, add a smart bin. I'm gonna call this one A cam, showing all projects. Now this one obviously isn't a clip type, instead it's a file name. So I'm gonna keep it as file name. I'm gonna change contains. I could leave it as contains, but I'm gonna change this filter to be begins with. There's loads of different options within here, but I'm gonna go with begins with. I know my A cam footage begins with P-A-A-A. As I type it in, it's automatically show me what's gonna be filtered. That's perfect. Create, add a smart bin. B cam, showing all projects. File name begins with P-B-B-B create, 
Awesome. Now I've got A cam and B cam. What about my gameplay footage? Right click, smart bin. This one I'm going to call gameplay, showing all projects. For this one, I want to come down to format. Again, we've got contains, does not contain. I'm going to leave it as contains. And then I'm going to put MKV within here. Again, it's showing me this. I've only got one clip. That's perfect. Create that. So now we've got our A cam, a B cam, and my gameplay. And that format one is really cool. I've currently got images, which is just all of my images. I could have created one that has a format of PNG. That would have been all my screenshots. I could have also made one that had a format of WAV, which is all my voiceovers. MP3 for audio. You get the idea, you can just use that file format to split things up into different folders. How cool is that? What about that high speed and regular speed footage, that 25 and 50 frames per second? Well, you've guessed it, right click, add a smart bin. This one's gonna be called 25 FPS. Media pool properties, file name. We're gonna come down and we're just gonna find frame rate. And then I've got is or is not. I'm gonna change the is to be 25, showing all projects. But if we have a look over here, what it's done is it's included the audio as well. Because the project is 25, it's not just my videos, it's showing my audio as well, which I don't want. So then we can start to do and. We can start to do multiple filters. So I'm gonna click on the little plus at the end here. And this gives me another line. So I'm just gonna to go to the frame rate here, change this to be clip type. Gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna change the third option to be video and audio. And there we go. I've got all of my video that has audio attached that is 25 frames per second. And we're gonna hit create. Boom. All my footage that's 25 frames per second is in there and ready to go. And then of course you just repeat the exact same process for your higher frame rate footage. Now that filter we've used for that one is what's called an AND filter. There's two criteria and for all the footage to be included in that bin, they have to meet both of those two criteria, an AND filter. What if you want to do an OR filter? The example I'm using here, I've got this footage, which is DCI 4K, so proper 4K, and then I've got this footage, which is Ultra HD. Now, in this example, I don't really care. I'm going to use them exactly the same way, so I just want one bin, which puts all of that 4K-ish footage in that bin. We can do that using an OR filter. So we're going to make a smart bin. I'm going to call this 4K, showing all projects. This time, we're going to come on down to resolution, is and I'm going to put 4096 by 2160, which is my 4096 by 2160. Awesome. Then I'm going to hit my plus. Resolution is, this one I need 3840 by 2160. Now it's not going to come up with anything because this is currently an and, and I can't have a clip that meets both. So this is where this little box comes in. We change it from all to any, and then it will show me any clips which meet either this top resolution or this bottom resolution, giving us a 4096 and a 3840. Simple. Smart bins. Well smart, bro. Mm-hmm.